Icy prime meat. Oh, high quality frozen animal meat. Doesn't restore many hearts, but it can lower your body temperature. Huh. Who'd have thought? Cool. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we tackled Tingle Island, which had a shrine in it, and we tackled the spirally thing of doom, which had a shrine in it. Today, we're actually going to be heading back this way, because I forgot one of the many things that we have yet to do here is this weird arena thing, which has like a podium in it and a little lake, so I assume it's just one of the game's many stone taluses. So let's find out what that's all about, shall we? What is this thing all about? Did we do this? We did this, okay. So, trees. What are they? What do they do? And is there a stone talus and is that a house? Oh, that's the, the builder guy. He's building another house. Okay. Hopefully I don't have to pay him 3,000 rupees again. Man, this one looks nice. Look at this. It has its own little... Is this a goddess statue? It has a goddess statue. Well, that's horribly convenient. Hey, Hudson. Oh. Hey, we meet again. Who are you again? I'm one of the Bolson construction contractors. The name's Hudson. I remember you. <laughs> Me too. What are you doing here? Since I've been transferred here, I've decided to build a village from scratch. Every village needs a name, though. I think I'll call it Terrytown. I love how the other option to everything is just goodbye. If you don't even really get an option here, it's just, you know, leaving in case something weird happens and you your grandma's in the hospital and you have to go. <laughs> in, in which case, you could just leave the game. However, what's wrong? I build a house to store village supplies in, but there just isn't enough. Enough anything. People, money, stuff. I guess I'll help you out with building Colony 6. But why? There's nothing in it for you. I don't mind. You're a lifesaver. Well, I'm supposed to get started. We'll need houses for people to live in. We can't invite them until we have homes. Do you think you can bring me ten bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can combine that with what I've already got and get started on new homes. Neat. He's building an actual village, so I don't have to... Oh, thank goodness I don't have to buy or pay for this with 3,000 rupees. This place is nice. It has a nice back deck. If if he was selling... Can I actually climb this? I Wait, why can I climb this? <laughs> this is just the side of the house. You can't climb that link. I can go inside? The roof protection is now ready to roll. That was really creepy. I thought, I thought Jeruk was in here. That was really strange. Well, thank you, buddy. This is a nice place. I would love to buy this. It, you know what it reminds me of? I know the house is nothing similar, but it reminds me of the Oasis from Wind Waker. It has that, that same kind of feel. And I, I really like it. It looks great. Okay, so we need 10 bundles of wood. That is easy enough. How, mon how many do I have thus far? Uh, I should probably organize my inventory. How many do I have? I'm guessing... Okay, I have two. Well, let's just fly down to that forest, which I needed to check out anyway. And since there's probably a stone talus there, take care of the stone talus and simultaneously get some wood here. Neat. Uh, and sadly, I can't teleport back to that, but I guess I can... I can fly there from the other shrine like I just did. Okay, so bundles of wood. I don't have an axe on me. I probably should have checked to see if there was an axe nearby. But, uh, we can just use our our things for that. Switch over. Did I actually... I think I killed the bees, which is convenient. Two things of wood from that. I also suppose that, yeah, there's a... There's a guardian. There's another guardian. So we need to be careful here. I guess it's not, it's not necessarily a stone talus that we need to worry about. Which also means there might be... Well, there's... He's seeing me. Oh, come on, buddy. Let's just hide behind one of his brethren. Please don't see me and walk away. You don't need to see me here. I'm not... You know, we could just kill it. 
I... We could kill it. Should this be the episode that we kill a guardian? You guys have long since given me your blessing. So, I could kill it. But at the same time, I'm also doing this. I mean, I I did take a couple of of pot shots at a guardian a couple episodes ago off screen, and I was I was surprised. I did hit it in the eye, which you know take that keep that in mind. But I did a, a surprising amount of damage to that guy. Okay, the other guardians over there. Other guardians also not really interested in me. I also suppose that if there are guardians down here, then that means there's some sort of sweet reward. I really doubt that there's a stone talus down here, because guardians are on a completely other level. Ooh, hello. That's pretty nice. They're on a completely different level from from stone guardians. Oh, there are two on me. Well, that's not good. I mean... Oh, boy. Ow. Thank you, Mifa. Should we just fight this thing now? Is that what we're doing? Should I do it? I really don't want to do it when they're too nearby. Yeah, actually, you know what? You guys can do my work for me. Please, be a lumberjack. I really don't want to deal with this right now. Ow! That was stupid, Link. That was incredibly idiotic. Come on. Just leave me alone. I don't want a piece of you right now. They're touching me. I don't want it. Just leave me alone. Why Why does Ganon want to kill me? Like, what have I done to him? What have I done? The Guardians don't even need to kill anyone. Ganon's victory is pretty much assured by this point. Also, Korok. What? What? Yeah, I, I, I hear you. Guardian, but there's also a Korok here. And he's way more important than you could ever be. Okay, how many pieces of wood do I have? Eight? Well, if this thing leaves me alone, I can get the last two. They're right over there. You know what? I think it's time. Do you guys think it's time? I think it's, you know, it could be time. Maybe. It could be time to kill this thing. I mean, maybe. You know what? It is time. Here. Switch over. Shock arrows. Yes. Light scale tri trident's broken. It is time to kill one of these things. I am tired. I am... I wait, wait. Guardian weapons do more, don't they? I am so tired of dealing with this. Of having to run away from these things over and over and over... It's time. Face me. Yeah. What do you what do you got? What do you got? You got nothing. I'm I'm going to murder you. I am so powerful and I am tired of trying to play the good guy and running from you. Where's the other one? Where are you? Where do you go? Did you run? Did you run, son? Where do you go? Seriously, where where? Oh, it's over there. You, sir, are getting a taste of me. I am powerful, and I have been powerful for so long, and I have refused to kill you guys on the grounds that... Oh, ow. <laughs> that, that I can kill myself way easier. Uh, eat this. Yeah. Wait, did that? That didn't heal me entirely. So, you know what? It's time. I have my wood. Get over here. Okay, I think I have one use of this. Fire. Let's cut off his legs. There's one. Two. Three. And four. You guys have long since told me that I can cut off their legs. I noted it. Get over here. Yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy took two shots. Shoot him in the eye. Come on. Oh, is he blocking my attacks? There. I got his leg. Got that leg. And he's done. Yeah. 
Yeah, you guys didn't think I could do that, did ya? Well, I guess... I guess Daruk's protection kind of hard carried me there. But I could shield bash that if I wanted to. Besides, you, I didn't even need to. I could shoot that thing in the eye, and it's pretty much done if I use a shock arrow. Yeah. Guardians down. Blood... Oh, Blizzard's gonna respawn him. No! No! That's... I need to get out of here. The Blood Moon is... Is going to respawn them. That's like the worst time to Blood Moon in the history of... Of history. Okay, let's blow this thing up. Get the wood. I have ten. I have ten. Okay, let's... Since the guard the Guardians are gone, I might as well... Use the last moments before the Blood Moon respawns them. Just to... Just to peruse the area. This forest exists for some reason. And I need to make sure that I know why. Is it just to hide a bunch of... Of gear that I... Or literal gears that I can get from Guardians? And also a fox? It can also hide foxes? Because I think that's it. Here are you. Let's search your body. Poor things. I wonder what these things would have been like pre... Pre... Uh... What do we call it? Um, what is it? Calamity? Pre-calamity. What these things would have been like. I mean, were they nice? Did they help you out? Did they, like, hunt for you? What did they do? Were they were they chill? Like, could you have one as a pet and play fetch with it? I don't know. Also, it looks like the Blood Moon's taking its dear sweet time, so... I have a good amount of time. Also, there's a singular wolf over there. Hey, buddy. I, I'm guessing that it won't stay like that for long, but... It's there. Okay, well, I guess I can return back to... To Dudikoff. Let's go. Okay, now that the Blood Moon is over, even though I really wish that those things would stick around... Their effects would stick around for a little bit longer, but... Now that that's done, we have our ten pieces of wood. Buddy! Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Hey! Hudson! Yes, I did! Excellent, can I have him? Yeah. You're a lifesaver. Well, next is... Uh-huh. Those boulders are driving me nuts. I want to move them out of the way so I can, we can develop the land underneath. It'd really help me out if you could find someone with enough f brute physical strength to bust them apart. Physical strength? Yeah, if we're talking about brute physical strength, and, he, and we are, a Goron would be my first choice. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in Sun. If you run into anyone that fits that with what I said, send him here to Terrytown with me. I do not remember. I do not remember. Do we have a marker for that? Do we? Oh, it's it's on him. Okay. So I guess we're gonna have to deal with that at some point. So someone ending in sun. I can't think of any Gorons like that, but we could probably go to the Goron town and and walk around a little bit and eventually find one. Uh, so now that that's done, we, we could do that right now. Climbing on a window. We could do that right now, or I could just go and finish all the, the remainder of the business which we have in this region. Which I think I'm going to go do that. Which means that our next stop is... I caught this horse a while back. No, come here. I have apples for you. Come on. Yeah. Eat up them apples. Enjoy those apples. That one too. Yeah. I'm not keeping shot for a while. He's not... He's not the replacement for heart. But he, he'll do for a while. Okay, so... Robbie, you guys told me... Needs to see me without clothes, don't quote me on that, in order to believe that I'm the hero. So, Robbie, take a look. Hmm, hmm. Yes, the number of scars on your body, just as I remember, okay. Most, seems, most seem to have healed, but they do line up with the scars I know you got during the Great Calamity a hundred years ago. Hmm, yes, I acknowledge you as the real Link. So, let us begin again. I am the lead guardian researcher and director of Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Dr. Robbie, also known as Dr. Brown from Back to the Future. In any case, I really am impressed that you made it all the way out to this rather remote location. Did you perchance meet Para and borrow her power? Uh, yes, I did. I met a child. 
Hmm, Para, a child? What, she really has a kid? Hmm, or do you mean that Para aged backward, and she is now a child? Yes, she is younger. Hmm, are you certain? Hmm, so she is as crazy as ever. Okie doke, knowing her, I am guessing she screwed up some experiment. Hmm, hmm, yes, typical. Let us return to the subject at hand, hmm? Did you know that the Calamity is regaining its power? No, I would have thought that killing the, or taming the Divine Beasts would have removed some power, so I did not know that. Are you serious? Well then, I suppose I should tell you my story, hmm? Go ahead, whatever floats your boat. Hmm, yes, I see. In that case, the goal of our Sheikah research is simple, really. We aim to destroy the calamity that has endured across time. To rid Hyrule of its dark influence, and, above all, to rescue Princess Zelda, who is now a prisoner of the calamity. We have worked ourselves to the bone conducting our research. For a time, I feared I'd pass before we could prevail. However, you, Link, managed to awaken before this old sack of flesh gave out. That means, the time is now. Yes, yes. You, now is the time to join forces with us, Sheikah, yes? We must destroy the Calamity! I'm over here. Let's do it! Yes, that is correct. You and I are going to join forces and put an end to the Calamity. On down that note, I'm sorry for the long preamble, but I'd like to provide you with some ancient soldier gear. Hmm, <laughs> did you catch all that? Cherry, mm, the, the ancient oven, <laughs> creates ancient soldier gear, but I fear she's out of sorts at the moment. Hmm, I'm afraid someone will have to bring the blue flame from the uh, the ancient furnace again. Which ancient furnace? Yes, I get that. What ancient furnace? An ancient furnace can be simply be described as a singular place that gathers massive amounts of energy. Get the blue flame from Tumlea Heights, put it in the furnace, and then cherry, I mean, the ancient oven, will be fixed. However, at my age, it's not so easy to climb mountains and cross rivers, hmm? And my wife is jealous of Cherry, so she refuses to get the blue flame for me. <sighs> Do you have any other questions? Cherry's the oven, right? Is a machine I created, is I made to create ancient soldier gear. Isn't she adorable? Yes, hmm? My first love, she shares the name of my first love, you see. My wife isn't as crazy about her as I am. I mean, you named her after <laughs> your girlfriend before you got married. I would also be angry. <laughs> If it were me. That's why I call her the Ancient Oven now. You know what? Yeah, I'm not going to go there. Ancient Soldier Gear. It's something we Sheikah developed with ancient power. It's easy to make. Yes, hmm, a breeze. Just take the ancient materials that Guardians drop, and some rubies, and toss them into Cherry. I mean, into the Ancient Oven. Yes, that. However, the Ancient Oven is still out of sorts. Who, uh, who do we know that can do something about that? Do you have any other questions? None. So, Blue Flame. So we have an upgrade update to our our quest, which I think we have time. I still don't think I started the timer this episode, did I? No, I did not. I forgot again. <laughs> don't mind me. And so we need to get the blue flame, which is somewhere. Can I look through this? No. So let's see. Where? Let's look at the the update to our quest here. Robbie's research. So the. Blue flame is... oh! Right over there. That's a lot easier than I thought. Here, is there a torch nearby? That would make things... Actually, I don't think I need a torch. I could probably just blow up a tree and, and get it from that. Okay, is there a stick there? No? Of course not. Well, I guess we'll find one along the way. So... This way, huh? It's actually not even that far. It'd be great if Shot joined me, although his his friendship with me is not the best. So let's see, it's right over this way? And I, th I can see it from here. Oh wait, no. That's it over there. Well, that seems easy enough. It seems pretty easy. Where did my Thunder Sword go? I, I broke it. Man, I was gonna, you know, show a shot how Hart died. Okay, so let's fly over this way. Should be pretty easy. A little gorge down there. And get over here. And climb up. 
There's some moblins, some wolves. Uh, you know what would be useful right now? What would be really useful is... Wolf Link. That would be pretty nice. If Wolf Link would, you know, come. For some reason, the amiibo is not working, so I guess that's out of the picture. Well, let's... Let's walk up this way. If I can't find a torch, then I'll be forced to resort to using a Bakoblin weapon. Let's see, where, where are we going? It's right to our left up here. There it is. Okay, so we need a torch here. Will it give us one? No. Okay, well, I guess it's time to build, kill a Bakoblin. Let's switch over to a better arrow. And that did not work. Oh boy. Ow. That did not work. You, sir. Okay. Did they hit each other? I think they hit each other. Or I killed one. I killed one as he hit and killed another one. So I don't need this broadsword. I need this moblin club. And we can switch over to it. And I should be able to use this to light things. But it may be different with the blue fire. Nope! This works! Cool. So let's go ahead and light these on our way, just to make things a little bit easier. In case we have to fight something. It's also nice because this doubles as a weapon. Wolf, please don't bug me. I don't have time for you. So let's see, which way are we going here? I think we have to circle all the way around, which I think I should be doing off camera, or at least sped up. I've been practicing a, a new thing with the Terraria series, which has yet to come along, where instead of cutting things out, I'm just speeding up, and that's been working out pretty well, even though I haven't released the episodes, but I, I think it looks pretty nice, so I'm just probably going to do that. Are you dead? Really? Shot? How did you die? You didn't- like, one thing touched you, barely. And you died. Apparently I have a knack for killing horses now. I'm a horse killer. Ow. Ugh. Stupid moblins. With their stupid... stupidness. Almost there, and on my last torch. This thing will not last that long. I'm gonna light some stuff on fire on the way. Is there another sconce that I can use? Because I'm starting to get worried. I'm almost there. I may have to throw this thing the last Daruk's couple of feet. Also, Daruk, you startle me every time. Oh boy, I'm, I'm kind of worried here. Okay, I do have protection, which is good. I'm probably just going to use it to get through here. Yeah, do your worst. Okay. Let's just get to the sconce. Yes! Okay, now what I'm going to try and do... Uh, do I have a normal arrow? I do not. Can I change it? No. This will probably just blow me up, won't it? No. Okay, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to do this the, the real way. And run. There's not much left in this weapon. I really don't want this close to run out of juice for this thing. Come on, Link. 
Hit this, put it away. Get on the other side. Just get those last couple feet, you know. Use the ex extended hitbox. And light this thing up. Man, I did not have much time left on this. And I have it as a travel gate. And I'm also really curious, how much longer was left on this? I mean, actually. Just a little bit, I would assume. Oh, maybe, maybe I wasn't as close as I thought. This thing's still going. I can't shatter this glass. Okay, well, let's go inside. And talk to... Robbie about... What's his face? His, his waifu robot. Oh, You, Link, listen up, hmm? My darling Cherry is back to normal. Such the power of love. My love made Cherry well again. I mean, my fire did, but... I mean... Yeah, it was all you. It was all you, buddy. Well, thank you. Yes, quite. Now then, please take this as a gift of my gratitude now that Cherry is fixed. Ancient arrows! Cool! They're used using secret Sheikah technology. With the addition of my upgrades, they have morphed into anti-calamity weapons, so to speak. Needless to say, they're an incredibly powerful type of ancient soldier gear. I like to call them Ancient Arrows, as we know. In addition to Ancient Arrows, Cherry can make all kinds of ancient soldier gear. If you're lo looking to acquire some, give your ancient materials and rupees to Cherry. Did you hear that? Ah, forgive me, Link. Ever since the fall of Hyrule Castle, we haven't had much in the way of funds for our research. That's why I thought you'd be willing to help us out. With rupees. Lots of them. I beg of you. Well, then let's do it, huh? The two of us, as soon as possible. Yes, let's conquer the calamity, hmm? Man, those... Those little audio trills are really cool. Okay. Cherry. Hey, hey, bleep. Familiar name missing. Insert materials and rupees. Re receive ancient equipment in exchange. So we can make ancient arrows, times three, for this, which we need arrows, and we don't have. Ancient arrows times five, which we have the, the wherewithal to do that. Ancient sor short sword, which is actually better than anything else we've had. Ancient blade saw, okay, I have to have that. Ancient spear, which looks really weird. And a bow. Helm, oh, that's what I, that's what I was looking for. So, we don't have enough ancient gears, we don't have enough ancient springs, but now that we've defeated a, a, uh, a guardian, I am more confident in actually killing those things. So, this stuff, it gives guardian resist up, huh? That seems kind of useless, because if you're killing guardians, you're not getting hit, but it's also really cool looking. It's, it's kind of steampunky, that's neat. We can actually make this stuff now, we just need the money to do so. So, and it also looks really nice. So I think I might try and make one of these things, but in between episodes. That's pretty neat. Let's talk to his wife. Good day, and check it out. How was that? I figured I'd give an impression of Hitano Ancient Tech Lab's director, Para Shot. Maybe it was a bit too much for the first time meeting you, though. Uh, not at all. I liked it. Oh, Link, I'm really glad you're such a friendly guy. So, what do you need from me? Uh, who are you? Hey, I'm Jaren. Check it out. I'm an amateur scholar of ancient history. To be honest, I've been focusing a lot on my research on shrines. Oh, that reminds me. Link, there's somewhere you need to go. The left eye of Skull Lake. I know there's a shrine there, but it's a challenge to get to it. The left eye of Skull Lake is higher up. The right one is lower down. If you run into Kilton, you're on the wrong eye. Kilton, Kilton. Didn't we run into him? About Robbie. Robbie is one of the researchers of ancient civilizations. He was he was studying guardians at Hyrule Castle 100 years ago. Oh, Robbie, we're a half century apart age-wise, but we never let that get in the way. He and I are married. <laughs> yes, indeed. Together we run the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. He's got a s I've got a son as well. Have you got any other questions? Your son. That's right, I've got one son. His name is Grante. Have you seen him in your travels? I don't think so. Really? Well, if you do see him, be nice to him, okay? Have you got any other questions? No? I'm done. See you later. Man, she's much nicer than I thought she'd be. All right, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've apparently already completed it. 
If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Did we kill that thing? Wasn't it right here? I it was right here. Well, it was. Oh, I killed it with that one reflect. Okay. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't... Oh. Then drop a comment telling me I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every... Don't hit me, please. Every Monday and Wednesday. I'm also let's playing Pikmin 2 right now. We're wrapping it up with the mission mode. Uh, duo challenge levels. And new episodes of that is released, or are released, every Tuesday and Thursday. Next time, we're going to tackle the cube, which is right off the coast, over here. It's right up there. We're going to be tackling that next episode, so join us, then. Hey. I'm killing the stupid Wally Wog. And he should be done. Yeah, he's done. Good job. Yeah. He had an item inside of him that was bigger than him. From ancient enemies. Wow. We are a king. We are... We are a king. Look at us. Whoa! 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 Whoa!